One of the most important <coughs> developmental stages for colleges and universities is where you reach the point to where you're known by the success and distinction of your alumni. And that's what today is about. It is a wonderful feature for Stockton now to have such distinguished alumnus who are really, each one working incredibly hard, have achieved a great deal in their particular areas of expertise, and who, from my point of view, still love Stockton right, and come back. And so to culminate the day, honoring our alumni and honoring alumni who are so distinguished and bring us so much honor, it is a great pleasure. And it is also my pleasure to introduce a person who was a Mayflower student and who never left and is now the provost of Stockton College, Harvey Kessler. Thanks all for being here. See a lot of Mayflower folk and, and welcome back. Um, it has changed, but it still has that stock and spirit. Um, first recipient this evening, Lou Sina, there he is, is the founder and publisher of Atlantic City Weekly, formerly the Hoot newspaper. Lou recognized the need for an entertainment, nightlife, and dining newspaper in South Jersey back in 1974, before the gaming industry appeared in Atlantic City. Lou, now in his 38th year as publisher, has spearheaded the addition of multimedia video videos for the website, acweekly.com. He has produced over 200 news and entertainment videos of area events through AC Weekly. Lou is a member of the Richard Stockton College Foundation he has served as an officer of the Atlantic County March of Dimes Telethon Committee. He has also chaired the Northfield Club Scouts and Boy Scouts and served as a member of the board of the directors of the Northfield All Sports Association. Lou. Our next honoree, David R. Hughes, class of 86. David is a native of New Jersey and an active member in the community. He currently serves as a member of the Board of Directors for the Greater Atlantic City Chamber, St. Joseph Regional Catholic School, and the Richard Stockton College Foundation. In this capacity, he serves as Chairman of the Finance Committee, member of the Investment Committee, and member of the Executive Committee. David also is actively involved in community services and activities and involved in such organizations as Mother's Hope and Legatus, a nonprofit faith-based organization. David currently serves as an Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of Trump Entertainment Resorts since November 2010. David. <laughs> Mark C. Marone, Class of 98. Mark graduated from Stockton, as I just said, in 1998. He has a Master's Degree in Educational Leadership from Seton Hall University, where he currently is a doctoral candidate. Two weeks before the opening of the 2011 academic year, which also would be Mark's first year as principal of Mainland Regional High School, four athletes were tragically killed in an accident on the Garden State Parkway. The school's community's sense of loss was profound. On the very first day of school, Mark called on faculty, staff, and students, asking them to offer support and to guide students to the realization that they were still allowed to laugh and just be students once again. He acknowledged their pain and made certain that the students knew there would be counseling and support available. Mark then reset the tone for that entire academic year, announcing that Maidland would enter a nationwide school spirit contest and that he believed Maidland's spirit was undeniable and that he knew they were going to win that award. Well, Mainland did just that, and they won the Under Armour Company's undeniable contest, $180,000 worth of uniforms and equipment, and it is my pleasure to bring up Mark Moreau. Wow. <laughs> 2011-12, New Jersey Teacher of the Year, Jeannie Del Coley, a veteran teacher, 
coach, advisor, and mentor of 16 years. Jeannie brings her passion for history and extensive travel experience from across five continents, including archaeological digs in Amman, Jordan, and environmental work in Mongolia, into her classrooms to make history and culture come alive and connect with the world of her students. Recently, Jeannie was named the 2012 New Jersey History Teacher of the Year, and in 2010, the New Jersey Council for the Humanities Teacher of the Year. Well, our Teacher of the Year, Jeannie Dunkley. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Sharon Surgeon has been a physical therapist at the Baccarat Institute Rehabilitation since 2002. Her experience in education includes serving as a clinical instructor for DPT students, their doctorates in physical therapy, from a variety of educational institutions during their clinical affiliation at Backrack. Sharon has worked for the past two years as an adjunct professor in kinesiology and musculoskeletal curriculum in our doctor of physical therapy program, providing an active clinical perspective in our laboratory classes. Sharon received her DPT degree from Stockton in December of 2009, receiving the Dean's Award and the DPT Faculty Award for Clinical Excellence. She received her MPT degree from Stockton in 2002. <laughs> Amanda Charney began working in a specialized school for children with autism the Monday after she graduated from Stockton while continuing to earn her master's degree in communication disorders. Over the past 10 years, Amanda has enjoyed working in public schools, specializing in the preschool age population of children who have neurological disorders. Amanda has been awarded Teacher of the Year from her peers in administration and is currently a supervisor of related services for the Collingswood School District. In 2009, Amanda founded the not-for-profit organization Small Steps in Speech, SSIS. Its mission is to provide financial assistance to children and or charitable organizations for communication disorder. SSIS has provided grants to over 80 children across the country and dispensed more than $100,000 a year since its creation. <laughs> Eric Stiles. It's a very, very familiar name on this campus. Eric Stiles joined New Jersey Audubon in 2002. <coughs> Under his leadership, the Conservation Department grew from a staff of one to more than 10 professionals ranging from ecologists to attorneys. The department manages, protects, and promotes New Jersey's native plant and animal populations and nature-based recreation through policy and advocacy work, stewardship, and the development of programs. Eric has a broad background in conservation and non-for-profit leadership. After completing his biology degree at Stockton, Eric earned an MS degree in ecology and evolution at Rutgers University. Eric also received an MPP, a Master of Public Administration from Rutgers, and was a recent fellow of Leadership New Jersey. Eric serves on a number of boards, including the Environmental Endowment of New Jersey and local advisory committees. One other thing. Eric is the son of one of our most renowned professors, Professor Emeritus Dr. Lynn Stiles. Eric? <laughs> it's Kevin Cathcart, Executive Director of Lambda Legal since 1992, is a leading strategist and spokesperson in the movement to achieve full recognition of the civil rights of lesbian, gay men, bisexuals, transgender people, and people with HIV. Under his leadership, Lambda Legal promotes security, respect, and fairness for lesbian, gay youth, families, and all people, regardless of their sexual orientation or HIV status. A longtime leader in the lesbian and gay community, Kevin served from 1984 to 1992 as Executive Director of Gay and Lesb Lesbian Advocates and Defenders, GLAD, in Boston. Bye-bye.